Hello everyone, this is Prajul Patak, this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, this is the part 2 of our tutorial series Dots and Boxes game. Okay, so we are using PyGame to create a game, board game. Okay, it is one of our first board games of this channel and our first game of this year. Okay, so uh, in the last part we did something like this. We created Dots and Boxes on our, sorry, Dots on our screen like this. What we want to do is, uh, we want to create cells. Okay. So that we can draw edges okay currently the game is only of dots what we want is we want to uh, we want ourselves to be able to create with these edges okay so let's see how can we do it now there may be multiple ways to do this but the way that i'm going to use is currently i'll be using the concept of classes okay uh i want my classes to know which of their edges has been completed or created I don't want myself to remember which of these edges has been created. Okay, I don't want myself to know that or uh, remember that I have created these cells. What I want is I want this cell to remember its edges itself. Okay, so that's what we are going to implement in this tutorial. So class cell. Mm, uh, this is part of object oriented programming. If we have no idea, it's basically very easy. Uh, whenever you are going to create a class, we define it like this: class, then class name. Inside it, we have a initializer function or constructor function. Here it takes, uh, you can pass few arguments. The first argument is always cell. Then here I'm going to pass two arguments, row and column. Okay. Where our cell is. So I'll store it in a variable called cell dot r equals r, cell dot c equals c. Okay. Uh, this is known as creating local copies of these values in our uh, class. Okay. Uh, just one more variable I want to create that is index. Uh, what I want to do is uh, this first cell will have an index of 0 in my game. The second cell here it will have an index of 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, like this in this direction. And let's say if it has an index of 11, this cell will be having an index of 12, then 13, then 14, 15, like this. Okay? So, how can we calculate index from R and C values? You can do it like this, very easy cell dot r multiplied by rows now the value of rows and calls in our game is 11 and 11 okay so plus cell dot c that's it now uh, we have created a cell class okay uh, the next thing that we want to do is i want to create a rectangle okay this rectangle will be hidden but it will be there on the screen so we can do it like this in pygame creating a rect is like something like this pygame.rect we have this class to create a rectangle on our game screen now it takes the x y width and height of the rectangle so my x of the cell will be cell.c multiplied by cell size or oh, let me just copy these lines from here okay so i have just copied these lines we have already created uh, it for dots okay so we are just copying it and then I want my uh, rectangle has a width of cell size which is 20 pixels and the height of cell size that's it okay so we are done with the rectangle part now this rectangle will be hidden uh, it will not appear on the screen until unless we want it to appear but it will be there on the screen okay so we have set its x and y positions using this calculation c dot cell size plus 2 into padding okay uh, in the game or in the last tutorial we knew uh, what this was doing this was creating dots there okay so uh, let me just run this so currently what will happen is this is the first x y position of first dot so a cell will be created like this this is x y so width and height so this first will be created as a single cell then this second will be created as a single cell like this okay currently there's no cell we have only created a class Okay, now I want to store the positions of my uh, edges in my cells. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to store create few variables self dot left. It will store the left position or the x value of my cell. Let's say this is the x value of my dot. Okay, so I want to store it here. Uh, you can get the x position of your rectangle like this self dot right dot left. Then I want to find my top value that is y position of my cell. So you can get it like this cell dot rect dot top. Now what this top value is? See the left value is this. Uh, you can say this small 
padding okay and the y position uh, y value is this small padding from the top uh, for this dot the x position is this value and y position is this small padding then this third third dot has this x value and this y value in pixels okay all these things are in pixels then we want to create uh, two more variables cell dot right equals cell dot that dot right and self dot bottom equals self dot rec dot bottom so we have few uh, four variables in total uh, which will store the uh, edge positions of our game okay uh, sorry of our dots so this is the x left position this is the y position this is the right position and this is the bottom position okay so that's it now we want to create store our edges self dot edge is equals uh, we will create a list of uh, see our rectangle have four edges in our game okay so we want to create four a uh, triple cl so my first left first edge is this this dot and this dot okay this is my first edge so i want to store the put store the position of this dot and this dot in a list so that's what we are going to do here you can do it like this self dot uh, left and self dot top this is the x position of first dot and then we have to store the x uh, x and y position of second dot that is self dot right and self dot top so what i did here i have stored the uh, edge or the this corner position of these two dots in a list variable okay so this is x y and this is right and top that's it now this was my first edge now i want to create uh, store my four three four uh, three more edges this is this one edge this edge and this edge in the same variable so you can store it like this again uh, self dot right self dot top okay that is for this pixel uh, for this dot we need to know the right value and the top value of this okay and for this we need to know the right value and bottom value so self dot right self dot bottom this is it now for the third uh, edge uh, we need to know this this position of this dot and this dot you can get it like this self dot right self dot bottom okay and then another triple of the second dot that is self dot left and self dot bottom okay finally the fourth edge that is this edge so we need to know the position of this dot and this dot so we are storing it like this that is self dot left self dot bottom and then self dot left self dot top so this is our uh edges uh variable sorry edges list which stores uh its edges okay the edges of uh sorry all the four edges in a 2d list now i want to create one more variable called sides and it will store which of this edges has been created so basically it will currently store four values false 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 and false okay now what does this means if all the values are false it means the cell is empty currently no side or no edge has been drawn okay so suppose if the top uh, edge has been drawn our first variable will become true okay this first false will become true let's say if this this edge will be drawn okay so our second with a second false will become true similarly if our bottom has been drawn our third uh, uh false will become true if the left side has been drawn our fourth uh we can say the false will become true okay so let's say for this cell okay this particular cell uh we have three sides drawn so what this uh it these last three values will be true and since the top is not drawn our first value will still be false okay so this is it now self we will create another variable cell dot winner which will store who have which person or which player has created the last edge or which person or which player has completed the rectangle okay 
now let's do it currently like this since we have created a class if we actually want to create this cells we have to create objects of these cells which is which creating which is very easy we are going to create a list which will store all the cells in it so for r in range rows or c in range calls and we are going to create an object of this cell you can, you, you can create like this cell equals cell now this cell is simply an object name this cell is a class that we have defined here and class or class take two things r and c value so we are just going to pass r and c here and then we are just going to append or add this cell object to our cells list cells dot append cell that's it now still if i just run this game nothing will be visible on this screen okay but lot of things have been done uh just some t i think this t is missing here okay so nothing will be drawn on the screen but a main part of the game has been completed okay it looks good now what we can do is we can check for if we are clicking on a particular cell okay so let's say we can do it like this uh let's first of all create one more update function here def update or oh, let's not do it we will create a letter okay so suppose i want to know which cell i have uh, created which cell i have clicked on we can do it like this uh for first of all we are just going to iterate on our cells for cell in cells okay so if position that is if there some value in position and suppose we want to check which cell we are clicking on we can create it like this cell dot rect uh, cell dot rect we have defined here this is the rect okay so if cell dot rect dot collide point uh, our point is the position stored in the pos variable and here we are going to pause it means if we are if our current mouse click is uh, colliding with the cell rectangle then we can just print the position of that cell so we can just try doing this cell dot rect okay we can also draw a circle here by giving dot draw and dot circle again win then color then the x and y position so we can do it like this will dot rect dot uh, center x then dot rect dot center y and then the radius okay but before running this i want to implement one more thing uh, currently if i just run this it will keep printing this position of our cell rectangle uh, i want to implement one more thing here uh, this event check for if if we are clicking somewhere if we are clicking a mouse button so what i want is if we just unclick it or if we just remove our hands from the mouse button this position variable will once again revert back to the none okay so it means we are no longer clicking anywhere on the screen now we can just run this to see okay so if i just click it here yes so see there was a dot appearing here so i think okay there's some issue here now it will just crash because of multiple printing okay my system has little slow memory but see here uh, we are getting the position of the rectangle that we are clicking okay so this was the rectangle that we clicked first and then this was the rectangle that we clicked second so it looks good okay uh, the next thing that i want to implement is the update part of my cell so you can create one more method here def update which will draw the edge okay currently we have just stored the edge in the list uh we want to draw the edge so def update self okay now it takes a argument as a window the window on which we want to draw anything okay uh what we want to do is uh first of all we are just going to iterate on the cells list or the this edges list okay so for edge sorry index comma side in enumerate enumerate cell dot side so currently we are just iterating on this particular cell dot sides list okay we will check for 
which of these values is true if any of these values suppose if the first value is true we will create a line from this point to this point on our game window okay if the second value is true we will just create a line from this point to this point okay similarly if suppose if the fourth value is true we will create a point a uh, line from this point to this point okay so we are just need to know which of these values is true so if side it means if the side uh, value is true then we want to create a line so we can do it like this pi game dot draw dot line sorry line and then the argument window and then the color so i want my edge of white color and then we want to pass the x and y positions so self dot edges 0 0 okay sorry index now what this this means is if the first value is true index will have a value of 0 if the second value is true index will have a value of 1 i hope you already know about the enumerate function it basically gives the index and the value of any of any list or container okay so if the fourth value is true will the index have a, a value of 3 and this value okay so we are just passing here index that is suppose if the fourth value is true we will pick this thing and then this thing okay so cell dot edges index comma zero and then cell dot edges index plus one okay sorry cell dot edges uh index and then we have to pass in uh one okay that's it now we need to pass the thickness of a line uh, i want it to be two okay so currently if i run this let me just check if there's no print yes so no print if i just run this nothing will appear again but this time we can just make it appear okay. so if i just make any of the variable true let's say i want to make uh, if i just make the fourth variable true you will see all the lines all the all the left edges will be drawn okay uh, we are not calling the update function here we have to call the update method here we can which we can call it here cell dot update and we have to pass the window argument if i just run this this time you will see uh, we have some error here cell dot edges index uh, out of range okay so why it's uh, this issue uh, let me think of it where we did some mistake cell dot ngs index sorry it's my fault i have stored it the wrong way okay this would be mini list okay this will be another mini list so let me just store this to another list okay or we can call it sub list currently our uh, index variable is not able to find because currently we have only one index in our game okay so it looks good now if i just run this this should draw all the left edges of our game of our uh, c all the left edges are drawn now this one is not a right left edge, it's a right edge okay similarly if i just make uh, any of this let's say bottom uh, value to be true you'll see all the bottom edges will be drawn okay so currently we are just making it all okay but in the next tutorial we will make uh, one of the edges will be drawn which will be selected by the player himself so yes this is it for this video guys if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section if you are new to my channel subscribe thank you see you in the next tutorial